My name is Jack Bloomfield. I'm the founder and CEO of Disputify. Obviously quite young, only 18 years old. Um, I started my first business when I was 12 years old and um, from them have been quite involved in the whole business landscape of things. Um, started selling online when I was 15 and out of my own personal problems of selling online, which the biggest one was chargeback fraud. I lost a couple of thousand dollars a month to it. Came up with a Disputify and that was late last year and this year entirely, 2020, has been my year of building Disputify. Um, I've taken a break off social media. I've been pretty much head down the entire year building this incredible product and we literally just went live today, which, what are we now? October the 15th. So absolutely incredibly exciting day and Alex, who's employee number one, joined us. Um, feels like five months ago, but has been two weeks. It's been a few months we've been working together. That, that was like a three month job interview though, so. Yeah, it was, yeah. it was three month job interview with hardcore deliverables. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, so my name's Alexander. I am one of the uh, kind of sales leads here. Um, I also kind of head up the product within reason and I'm also a developer. Um, so I'm filling a, a multitude of different roles. My official title, I think, is technical sales lead. Yeah, that's it. Uh, or sales technical lead. I think technical sales lead, there we go, yep. Uh, and uh, I, I essentially assist Jack and make sure that he has everything he needs to succeed and for us at uh, Disputify to get to the next stage of our, our growth, which is uh, an awesome journey. So that's me, I'm Alex, and this is Disputify. I got Jack here. Hey Dan. Oh, hey Jack, how are you man? Very good mate, yourself? Um, so, <laughs> super quick to recap. Um, we're talking about exclusivity. Right. Yeah. Um, you need to go back to your admin team with kind of the, the structuring of this deal. Mm -hmm. And um, and it sounds like there's a bit of concern around the exclusivity element from your end. Yeah, I just basically need to provide justification. They've asked for justification in terms of what the purpose of that would look like or how the engagement would sort of run. Yep. So in terms of, yeah, I guess, you know, from, from your end, um, what the concern would look like around exclusivity and what that would mean, so, you, you know, with the actual engagement itself. Yeah, okay, cool. So um, the original thinking here was that we would have, and stop me at any time, Jack, mm -hmm. um, we would essentially enlist you guys for a fixed rate per candidate, and I think we agreed that the fixed rate would be um, And then during your stages of the recruitment process, your initial market search, your initial interviews, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, there would be a staging invoice that would become payable so that you guys were kind of covered for your time spent. Um, yep. And if we found someone in the interim, we weren't liable for the remainder. Okay, yeah, yeah. So. so we with that said, um, yeah. you know, I guess the concern from their end was, you know, are, are this beautiful engaging to several other recruiters? No, no, no. no. Right, no. right now, you guys are the only recruitment agency, but we are actively recruiting internally with our gotcha. own kind of volition through our networks. So yeah. we just don't want to be on the hook. For we find someone who we know we uh, want to work with. No, that is that is all I need, man. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll yeah, get, get on my computer right now, get that across, get the doc um, amended and shoot back to you guys. But like I said to you, in, in the meantime, we're, we're, you know, we're, we're, we're going, we're going. You know, Excellent. So, um, Excellent. This doc is just a formalization of that fact. So, Sounds good, buddy. Um, but yeah, leave it with us, man. But yeah, we're working on our side in the meantime. All right, all right thanks, Cheers, mate. mate. Cheers. Talk to you soon. So excitingly, we're about to go into our very first client onboarding call. Um, I'm very, very, very nervous. It's about 10.45 now. So we're about to head in. Um, essentially, I'm hoping nothing's gonna break. We're bringing them onto the platform for the very first time. So we're gonna get them to log into their Neto, which is where their e-commerce gateway is, where they host all their products, and also to their Stripe, their payment provider. So I'm 90% confident that um, things are gonna go smoothly. I mean, we've spent 12 months building this product now. So 90% confidence level is there, um, but there's that 10% confidence level where you don't really know if it's going to break until you try it. So I guess that's the purpose of this call today. Hola, Daniel, ¿cómo estás? Hello, Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Very good, man. How are you? Entonces. Now I can, I can oh. do a proper greeting. So no, I the other one. <laughs> All right, super quick, dude. We got joining the client. We're onboarding him. I'm going to introduce you as a developer. If you could stay muted unless we have an issue, that would be 
bueno. Hello! Just finished the call. This was our first customer. First live customer yep. that we legitimately onboarded. So all my concerns of things not working this morning um, were about to come true, uh, which I was very worried about. But it got fixed after like 30 seconds and didn't, yeah, what wasn't a Yeah, at all. We, we, we failed to anticipate that the customer would copy and paste the URL, including the uh, a small prefix yeah. of the HTTPS. But now that's done, and now we, know we, can, we can tweak that. Um, yeah, but apart from that, everything else works perfectly, which I'm super, super, super excited about. So we can just roll on with the next customers, yeah. which is fantastic. So, success. So let's go into a podcast now with Andrew. I think this I'm the first guest on his new podcast, which is awesome. And I think he's interviewing young CEO, if that's correct, Andrew. Young uh, CEO. Gen Z CEO. Gen Z CEO. So I'm the first guest, which I'm super happy to be. And um, apparently Andrew's got some hard hitting questions, which I've just heard about. So hopefully not too hard hitting. I can get through it all right. But um, we'll go see how I go. So, good news. Yeah. Guess what we just got? Not sure. Office. Woo! <laughs> we are putting on the big boy pants. We are. So yeah, four person office at WeWork, which is, yeah, very good. So now we're gonna have to go do an office tour. With the office tour, which we will do. And then now we have to go by monitors, then everything else in between. So that'll Ooh, be- Oh, it's a fun stuff. day. It's a very fun day. So in, in a startup thing, in the startup process, there are fun days where you get to spend money, and they are few and far between if you're doing it right. This appears to be a fun day where we get to buy monitors, yeah. and we get well, I mean, it's a fun day for Alex, it's not so much a fun day for me because I sit there going, yeah. <laughs> but you know, at the end of the day, it's something we've got to do and something I don't really want to do, but I know that if we set it up properly and yeah. you know, be conservative, set it up properly and you know, get things rolling, it'll be a really good base. But and just being able to put our stuff and Will to put his stuff, um. And just being able to like leave it and lock it and like the thought of that as simple as it may feel or seem um, is very 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 cool so i don't know i'm excited alex is probably four times more excited than i am just generally and naturally um but yes no i'm very thrilled and we literally get the keys today so we'll give you guys a bit of a tour when we're when we're walking in the next hour or so how'd it go hey hello let's go come on so office keys i you know i have them no, we're going to go by monitors. Oh, I haven't looked at the email yet. Oh, okay. We're going to look at the office now. Can you look while you're on your phone? Because I've sent it to you. Yeah, can we go look at the office first? Yeah. Let's see, office kids. I'm on the phone to JB Hi-Fi. I just got 40 bucks on. Now also too, for record's sake, this will be our next office, which will take two months and we'll be there. Which we just missed out on, so. Someone else got it before we can make a decision, so we decided to set on this and we'll go there in two months. So here we go, here, and this is the grand unlocking. I think it's unlocked. Is it? No. Ah, oh, there we go. After you, sir. Oh, thank you. Here we go, so here's the office. Very, very, very excited. So we're gonna probably move those two tables together. Um, and we're probably gonna put this table here and we're gonna smash that up against the wall and then possibly leave that one there or move that across so we can kind of whiteboard and draw things on the wall there. Um, so, and then we kind of decorate it any which way, keep it nice and neat and monitors and all that sort of stuff. So we're gonna go buy those now and um, set them up this afternoon, which will be super exciting. So, very pumped. I definitely got that. Huh? I definitely got oh, that. God damn it. How are you feeling? Um, sweaty. Yeah. Heavy. Heavy. Yeah. Heavy. Yeah, we've got a client call in, uh, in about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So, um, we had to like squeeze in buying equipment between in what would have been normally our lunch time so that we can get the office set up at the end of this week. 
but uh, we're racing back now so that we can make sure we hit the uh, hit the client call with enough time to prepare and be be ready. Sweet reprieve of a handbar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm definitely not cut out for physical exercise. So, what's this call? Well, we can actually, call we can is a client call for the beta program. So we literally can be like that, and that's in 13 minutes. Yep. Oh. Should we move these actually over to the other office? We'll do it now. Yeah. All right. One of the few times Will is on camera. So what are we walking into? The office for the first time since we've set it up. Oh, <laughs> two curve screens, man. Damn! Yeah, it's pretty baller, isn't it? Holy! Jeez, it looks so clean. Yeah. Like, it's so minimalistic, and that, I reckon that's what we want to achieve with the aesthetic, okay? What's this um, down here? Yeah. Is, is this all... That's just Show, oh, it's just rubbish that we haven't set up yet. Cool. But that's you, that's your editing station for now. 